Hello students, let's talk about the second part of our goals lesson, finding a future, exploring the possibilities. Let's review what we've already learned. A dream defined becomes a goal. A goal broken down into steps becomes a plan. A plan backed with action makes your dreams come true. How do I define my career goals? The first step is to look at our dreams. What is it that you determined that you wanted out of life for yourself and your loved ones? You're never finished with this step. You're going to keep reevaluating. But what have you determined now that you want? We're going to take those dreams and we're going to take some personality tests and interest assessments that's going to reveal your strengths and weaknesses. A good question to ask yourself when you're taking these tests is what gives you life or what makes you light up inside? What gives you satisfaction after you perform these duties? After you take this assessment, it's going to match you with careers that match your strengths. We're going to research some of those careers and then go a step further and decide what education or training you need to perform these careers. We're going to select the best option and begin the smart steps to make it happen. Hopefully you've already done this step, the dreaming your life goals, but this is where we're going to start. Remember, keep re-evaluating. You're never finished. The majority of this PowerPoint is going to be about our career exploration. We're going to explore a personality and interest test. Then we're going to evaluate your strengths and weaknesses and find out what kind of education or training you're going to need to pursue this career. This all can be done on one website. There's a lot of other ones, but we provide you with one to start out with. What kind of training is needed for each career? How long will it take and what will it cost? We're going to research those options. There are a lot of career sites on the internet, but here are some of the ones that we have used and trust. This is best for a quick career interest test. Just go to yourfreecareertest.com. Career One Stop is the website we will use today. I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step example of what you need to do to take the interest assessment. Just remember that you can pause this video after it's been watched and go back and do the steps yourself. I'm going to walk you through this step-by-step. -step. Once you pull up careeronestop.org, it's going to look very similar to what's on the screen. You're going to select Explore Careers from the drop-down menu. And this is going to drop down. Self-assessments, learn about careers, plan your career. You're going to choose self-assessments. Next, you're going to click interest assessments to identify what you'd like to do, your interest. The next step is to actually take the interest assessment. As you notice, the interest assessment link is underlined in blue. This is a 30 quick question assessment. There's a longer 60 question assessment on the ONET interest profiler. You see the link in the video right there. So you, if you want to go back and do that later, you can, but for right now, we're just gonna focus on the 30 quick question assessment. This is a start assessment page. It takes about five minutes to take this assessment. Basically, you're going to read the statement and answer if you like to do it or you don't like to do it. There's going to be a range and it's very self-explanatory. After you take the test, it's going to show you careers that fit your interest. After taking your assessment, results will appear as an interest profile called the RASIC. That stands for R, Realistic, I, Investigative, A, Artistic, 
E, enterprising, and C, conventional. Your highest scores represent a category of personality traits. One stop matches occupations with your interest. Look through the occupations and identify which careers appeal to you. Pick three careers you would be interested in researching. You'll notice that in the previous slide there was a list of careers. I took the interest assessment and these are the careers it gave me. So let's for our example purposes choose the first one which was a career for advanced psychiatric nursing. When you choose a career your page is going to look similar to this. The top of the screen shows a description of duties and projected jobs in the future. You notice that there's a little bright sunshine there and that means that the outlook is good for future jobs in this career. The bottom of the screen explains levels of education and needed certifications. The middle section shows typical wages and projected employment for the occupation. This is for the entire United States. The cost of living affects whether a salary be higher or lower. The page also includes information on daily occupational activities, skills, knowledge, and abilities. Now it's your turn to explore your career picks. Navigate to the Career One Stop webpage. Take the interest assessment. Select three careers and research using the career research worksheet that will be attached for you. Please fill in the worksheet completely. Submit to your instructor the career research worksheet. Here are some other resources to help with your career search. The ONET program, which houses the longer interest assessment if you're interested in taking that. Glassdoor, which is best to explore real-world salaries and company reviews. Georgia Futures, which helps you with the financial obligations of going to college. It's best for help with financial aid. A goal broken down into steps becomes a plan. Next time we'll start that plan. We'll talk about SMART goals.